Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to be talking about Mandy, which I have been so pumped to watch because if you're new to the channel, I'm a huge Nicolas Cage fan, and this did not disappoint my love for Nicolas Cage and Nicolas Cage-esque freakouts. Our movie kind of never really explains what it's about, but the general picture I got is a happy couple living together. They're kind of weird. They're definitely weird. The uh, wife, Mandy, or girlfriend, I never really paid enough attention to establish what sort of relationship they're in, but it doesn't matter because they obviously love each other. Works at a convenience store, which is visited by one of the weird occult members who... I don't know if she goes back and describes this woman, but they see her in passing walking down the road while all the occult members are in a van and the leader of the cult kind of becomes just entranced with her. Unfortunately, they do kidnap her and Nicholas's, Nicholas Cage's character and some terrible things happen. I won't spoil it, but the movie... Pretty much the second half is a hardcore revenge plot. Leave it there, no spoilers. What did I like about this movie? Obviously, it's going to be Nicolas Cage because he's just insane and I felt like he really put everything into this role. I liked that the color palette in this was gorgeous. It was beautiful, vivid colors. Some of it felt so dreamlike, some of it felt so in your face and raw. It was just, it was so pretty to look at. I felt like the effects were pretty freaking cool. I did have some issues uh, distinguishing the dark shots with the effects. If you're new to the channel, I am visually impaired. So if it's not like something explicitly lit well and like very tight shots, I might miss some stuff, but what I did see and what I could, you know, gather from the scene, I really did enjoy. Um, yeah, like this, this was a good time. My dislikes, honestly, there was a weird monologue that, as I said with the vision problems, it's the cult leader talking to Mandy, and I don't know if it was like, a face blur thing that they would have her face transitioning into his face, transitioning into her face. But some of it was a little, like, confusing because I wasn't sure exactly what I was seeing. My dog's just barking in the background because he's in dog jail and wants to be out here. Very annoying. Thank you so much. Um, some of the, the visual stuff was a little hard for me to pick up on, but I thought the pacing for the most part was pretty good. Like I said, there were some weird monologue-y things that I could have done without, but that's kind of nitpicky. I found this on Shudder. It is a Shudder exclusive. Apparently they're playing it in one of the independently owned theaters near where I live, which is pretty awesome. I hope that they're doing that all around everywhere so everyone can see this on the big screen because I'm sure that would be magnificent. I do rate this, let's see give it like a solid four out of five. I really, really liked it. I would definitely watch it again. I really want to get the groom to watch it with me because I think it is something he would enjoy. He also likes Nick Cage, maybe not as much as me. I don't think there's anyone that enjoys watching Con Air more than I do. I love Con Air. Um, it, it was so cool. Um, I will put the director and the release here in the description box down below as usual. Have you guys seen this movie? What did you think? What were your thoughts on the gore, the incredible colors, just at 1 to 10, like how many Nick Cages would you give this movie? Do you like Con Air? Are you Cyrus the Virus? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Leave a comment like I said and a like if you did enjoy the content. Hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. 
Also, my solo and reviews with the groom are available via the Farsighted Network in podcast form on iTunes. And please don't forget to check them out as well on Facebook. And um, I think at somewhere around here, there's going to be some suggested videos that you can check out and also a little button to subscribe somewhere around there. But um, yeah, I kind of want to watch Con Air now, but enjoy Mandy, guys. <laughs>